Galatians chapter 5 verse 13. You, my brothers and sisters, were called to be free. But do not use your freedom to indulge in the flesh. Rather, serve one another humbly in love. The word strong from Romans chapter 15 verse 1 comes from a Greek word dunatos, which means powerful, influential, have abundant resources, or having a higher skill or power. When we are talking about strength, it is much related to the purpose of life. And our purpose of life will always be related to answering the needs around us. A meaningful life is a life that can contribute to our surroundings. A vain or useless life is a life that only seek our own pleasure and doesn't bring any use to our surroundings. We need to be careful. Do not let us become a person who only want to take action when there is something in it for us. We are created by God to perform good works, no matter what. Every good thing has a price. Nothing comes for free in this world. Even salvation is not for free. Christ paid for it with the highest price of all. No other reason, why was he willing to go the extra mile for us, other than his enormous love for us. Just as he would go the extra mile for us out of love, we too are called to follow his example, willing to go the extra mile for fellow human beings. His love for us requires us to love others. We were never called to live comfortably but we are called to do good works. What does love requires of us? Love requires us to do the extra mile. We don't need to wait until we have much to be able to help others. Love's worst enemy is not hate. It is our ignorance towards the needs of those around us. Two clues are things we can do. First, look around. Take time to pay attention to them. Don't just focus on what we need. Second, ask, how can I help? Let us become a generation that actively wants to go the extra mile for others. Not for our own benefit, but so that the glory of the Lord may be expressed through our daily lives. When we do it, a generation of stars will shine and be the answer, even in the midst of difficulties.